Hey guys, it's day six of my Christmas vlog and welcome back to my channel. So May was all about getting ourselves prepared for the summer festivals ahead. And the first stop we made was to see our choreographer King at Cody Studios, where he kind of helped us brush up on a few moves. Today I'm at rehearsal with the girls and um, it's our first time with King um, and he's got two lovely assistants. It's going really well and I am excited to go back to be back in rehearsals. We've got a show in a few days and later on I'm going to a battle party so I'm pretty excited and the sun has come out so that helps me in the best mood ever. Just got these for everyone, some energy drinks and yeah, let's go. Can I just say this party was so, so good. There's nothing better than getting dressed up to the nines with your girls, having a good time and the music being really live. I don't really know like how it happened, but not many people are dancing these days. Like I grew up in the era where everyone was on the dance floor and like now everyone's just so like too cool for school. One of the highlights of the evening was we were all dancing to like garage music and there's a classic garage song by Kelly LaRock who's over there in the red dress looking lovely and um, it's called My Love and it came on and she was dancing to it. We all know this song like before I even knew Kelly like I grew up on that song so she's kind of iconic to me but um, yeah she ended up taking the mic going on stage and performing it live and like the crowd just went crazy and um, so I love that moment too. So a few days after that, we went in with our band just to kind of brush up on some of like the live stuff. Here we are with the boys and yeah, we normally do like a pep talk before we get things started. Um, many people wish and want to do what we get to do. And you know, we have to just really be thankful that we're all in the position that we are to do what we do at such a high level. Um, so as we get ready for this summer run, let's just give it our all. I know there's loads of things going on, but you know, let's just really tap into <laughs> Come on, there's loads of stuff going on. Um, but you know, like let's just tap into the, the gift and skill that we all have, and let's just give everything this summer. Let's leave everything on every stage that we go on, um, and let's just kill it every time that we get out there. Let's kill it. So on three sugar babes. One, two, three. Sugar babes. All right. And we are on our way to, wait, no, we're already in Liverpool. And what show are we doing? Aintree. Aintree, and it is the racing. Horse racing. Horse racing. So yeah, hopefully we'll, oh well, we'll have a really good show. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. And yeah, it's lovely. lovely youtubers i am so excited because we are back on the road me and the girls um we did two shows last week which uh was so nerve-wracking just to be back out there again um but now we are back on the road we are where are we heading to today Dev? uh we're heading Say towards hi. birmingham hi. hi and then we're going to um ireland yes we're on our way to ireland absolutely this is so much fun guys and belfast. belfast yeah we're on our way to belfast now we are looking forward to it the weather's getting warm and it's super toasty the tour bus so when we're doing our summer tours our choice of travel is tour buses we just love being together we love just being cozy and relaxed and we travel with quite a big entourage so we've got a few buses um, but on our bus it's us girls sometimes the boys in our band will jump on and they'll be on then it's like a big sleepover we have playstation we've got like movie channels wi-fi and a kitchen downstairs so it's a really cozy environment 
and we don't mind being on it for hours and hours on end um we love each other's company to be fair and it's like a hotel on wheels so yeah why not sometimes it will be really quiet siobhan will bring her kids and her husband on and Mutti will bring her daughter on i'll bring my niece and it's kind of like a real zen experience family experience and then sometimes <laughs> it's a turn up experience where it's just like you know adults only and we'll get like all the boys on the bus and we'll just be going for gold <laughs> and to be fair it's like this in our dressing room before a show anyway so when we traveled to belfast we drove our tour bus onto the ferry and we had to get off because you know legally you have to and we went onto the actual ferry itself and i absolutely loved the ferry it had an arcade it had these tiny little cabins which are so cozy by the way they're kind of like bump beds it has like a deck where you can go out and just like enjoy yourself like i absolutely love being on a ferry too queen's university look at this oh yeah we're at queen's university belfast it's a beautiful day and we decided to go for a walk ski our tour manager got us some nice coffee we've got to start our day right guys so over here we have the stage for later how cool guys this is our stage for later on botanic gardens everyone is setting up on stage the good news is is we've got our lighting rig back see those over there these lights honestly it makes for a much better show and yeah Once we wrapped up our Belfast show, we had a few days off and I decided that I was going to surprise my niece and go to Edinburgh. And she was super excited because she's always wanted to go. And I've been a few times, but only recently I got to explore and see Edinburgh. And I just think it's the most beautiful place. And of course we went and checked into a very bougie hotel <laughs> and it had the spa and we were super relaxed. It was all about having like just that girly fun. And we went to museums. Um, the weather was amazing, by the way. And yeah, we had ice cream. We ate amazing food. And it was so nice to just have that auntie niece bonding time. And as she gets older, it's like we're kind of, our relationship is transitioning into like friends. And I love that. And I love her. We also hit up a doggy cafe, which I've never heard of before, but it was so, so cute. You basically go in this room and they let these little puppies out and they run around you and you can stroke them. And it's super like therapeutic. It was so cute. It was one of the dog's birthdays and they dressed her in this little tutu and we just, we loved it. So that's it for day six guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.